Hi everybody! My name is Shannon and welcome to my channel Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me this day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be, wherever you are. I need some help. I went and I visited a couple of my friends and uh, it's it's August, it's my birth month, so they decided to do something a little bit special for me and I really appreciate that. But what I need your help for is one of the things I got, I'll show you some other things, one of the things I got was this. This is a box of safety eyes. Crystal, you might recognize it looks like the one I got you. So this box of safety eyes came with a request to make a mini dragon. One of my friends, her grandson's getting deployed and she normally makes some hats like this gorgeous hat that I am wearing and I was benefited from gifted a hand knit hat. Isn't that I mean it's I'm I'm thrilled. Look at this. So where he's going he doesn't need a gorgeous hand knit hat like this. Look at that tweed. Isn't that stunning? Oh my gosh it's orange and it's tweed and it's soft and it's scrumptious. So she's going to give him a dragon a little miniature dragon that he can put in his pocket and and think you know it's just a touch of home right I'm like okay so i'm with searching youtube because isn't that what we do and looking for different dragon tutorials and this is where i need your help help me out i came down with three of them i'll insert the pictures it'll just make it easier so the bearded dragon was the first one this particular youtuber is stunning oh my gosh definitely go scroll through this woman's channels. Holy cow. You want some inter interesting things? She's got them. So on the bearded dragon, you can follow the tutorial or you can also go to her Etsy store and you can buy the written pattern if you prefer to have it in that format. So it's just an option, but the tutorial is free on YouTube. So that's option number one, a bearded dragon. I like the bearded dragon. So the second option to me looks like one of the woobles that you see you know that you've seen those online whatever scrolling through your facebook or something i don't know what it stands for but i've seen them so this cute little miniature dragon this is made in blanket yarn obviously i would make it in something a lot smaller and it would just definitely shrink down that size that's another option and then the third little dragon look at these aren't these cute with little horns and everything oh my gosh those are adorable so I was looking at one of those three dragons to make. Let me know, and I'll also put it up on my community page and maybe do a little vote thing. Uh, which dragon should I make? Which thing? The, the bearded dragon lizard, does that count? Uh, the little miniature dragon, the little woobles one, or the one with the horns? I don't know. I thought they were great. So you want to see what else I got? I mean, you know, it's yarn related beyond a hand knit gorgeous hat I mean right that's just stunning I got look at this so one of my friends gave me this gorgeous bag isn't that great so it's like a waterproof and I've been carrying it around with me for the last two days I, I have it's been stuffed in and to the gills just carrying it with me the nice zipper right here it's got the little holes right here if you want to feed your yarn through it and yeah that's just great well, she didn't just give me a bag. She kind of put something in it. Look at this. Knitted Wit Sock Yarn. This is the Rocky Mountain National Park colorway. It is an 80% superwash merino wool and 20% nylon. Four ounces, 420 yards. It is a hand wash, lay flat to dry yarn. It is I, don't, I call it a luxury style of yarn. I've used this particular brand before. I made a uh, small cardigan for, I believe, my third grandchild. And that was the first time that I'd use this yarn. His was in a green because, you know, Nana likes green. And I thought it was just gorgeous. The yarn's wonderful to work with. So that is, I'm just really excited. And the other thing I got, look at this bag. This bag, look at that tie-dye. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is by a dyer that is in Colorado and doesn't live that far from me. This is Salty Knitter. Her name is Ryan. Uh, she bought Nerd String yarn. So if you've ever seen Nerd String, she's just rebranded it. She bought it, kept it as Nerd String for a while and rebranded it. So that is in Elizabeth, Colorado, not far from me. That bag is gorgeous. And 
of course there was something in the bag this is the backyard chicken collection hue loco look at that look at those colors look at that mustard and that green and this gorgeous hand dyed skein of yarn this one is called the anaconda colorway the minis are the ochre and the emerald which is very fitting uh, this is a 100 gram hank of yarn and the minis are the 20 gram hanks so this was perfect for a rather large one skein shawl and a couple of pops of color if you wanted to make a luxury hand knit pair of socks that could be toes and cuff with the regular socks and there would still with that amount left with up to even a size nine woman's foot which is what i am you would have enough to make uh, maybe a baby pair or something along that line left over so uh, yeah this is gorgeous oh my gosh look at that i am just so tickled but anyway, guys, I just wanted to pop on and, and show you this gorgeousness and pop out that question on what dragon should I make? I've got the eyes. If I need to use seed beads because the dragon's so tiny, I will. But I need some help. Help me decide which one should I make. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.